hello everyone welcome to my channel it's been a while but I do have another video for you if you want to see how I created this unit stay tuned you will need a crochet needle and a needle and a thread here I have uh, kind of like marked the center of the closure where it will sit on the top of my head and also the sides on where it will be on my ears and uh, by the way this is a full uh, kind of frontal and you just sew the frontal into the wig cap you can use the wig cap of your choice and after you're done sewing this make sure you sew securely you're just gonna cut down the the cap under the mesh and you sit it back on the mannequin. I'm using 100% canicolon hair and this is a color 33 and it's a, like the African version of the, the expression hair. I just like to use this hair because it has more texture to it. And I, I cut this hair into three and I just pull the ends so that it will be kind of softer on the ends. And after you pull it, you just go ahead and brush the hair. You might want to make sure that you securely hold the hair tight when you're brushing. And then um, brush very good. And after you're done brushing, you are done. You can start braiding. Well, if you watch my previous video, you will see that I use this method a lot. Uh, I prefer this method because it's just easier for me and it's very secure. The hair doesn't come out. Uh, just make sure you securely grab enough um, wig cap in between your, like if you can see that in between there, you see how large that is. That way is secure the braids are securely in there and it doesn't come out if you watch my other uh, video on my uh, my other braid, box braid video you will see that the difference between these two is that this one is way smaller braids and it will be less fuller and thicker so that's pretty much the only difference um, if you want to do this is a, t a tutorial about how I actually created the wig It's not a tutorial about how to braid so in order to do this you have to know how to braid if you want to know if you want me to have a tutorial on how to braid to teach you how to braid then you can leave comments and I will do another tutorial specifically on how to braid how to so you will braid all the way to the end and when usually when I get to the end I find a little piece of hair like just pull a little piece of hair out and just tie the ends you just make it more secure so the braid does not unravel so I, I like to do this a lot if you notice as well so just tie it I tie the ends a couple of times it looks very pretty and I just continue pretty much so what I do is I will pull the, uh, the needle through the wig cap and pull the hair through it and then I will make sure the hair is equally uh, separated into three and I just start braiding it's very easy
when you're braiding the the cap on the, on the back, it just kind of depends on how full you want your wig to be. Uh, for this particular one, I didn't want it to be too full. I want it to look as natural as possible and to be light. So I didn't make it as full as my other wigs that I usually do. But it's totally up to you how you want the fullness. But at the same time, you don't want your wig cap to be showing either. So you want to braid it in a way that when you wear your wig, it's still looking nice and full and it doesn't show the cap. So now I had enough hair in the back. Now I'm braiding the closure, which is the frontal. And the same thing, I'm braiding, I'm cutting big pieces of hair because I don't want the, the wig to be too full. But you also have to be mindful on how, what kind of thickness do you want. So here, as you can see, when I'm doing this, I'm hiding the, the closure hair under the, the extension hair because I want the, the braids to look as smooth as possible and to last as long as possible.
you see I'm pretty much done braiding the closure the I keep saying the closure yeah it is the frontal so I'm done braiding it I pretty much braid the hair halfway and then when I'm done I usually sit and finish in the, the ends make sure you leave the baby hair out that makes the wig look more natural don't forget to leave those baby hair out so once it's done I just sit here is my daughter Janet hi <laughs> So she's learning how to braid and she's always, you know, <laughs> always interested in what I'm doing. So she was just helping. So when I'm done, I just clean the hair up. It's kind of the hair, the little hair that sticked out, I just cut it all out and dipped it in hot water. Usually I dip the hair a couple of times in uh, hot water and just make sure the ends are smooth once it's done is let it dry I attach some few attachment comb you can see there and also elastic band just to secure the, the, the wig on my head and voila you are done Guys, if you feel like you need to add more braids in the back just because maybe your your wig cap is showing don't hesitate to do so just make sure it's nice and full that you know it doesn't show the wig cap this wig is very light and very very natural is actually it feels really good on my head as well that's it guys for this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I will see you on my next video thanks guys Bye.